In every European Union country, spatial data are collected by various organizations, institutions and agencies, both central and regional. In the countries of the European Community, there is a huge number of databases scattered across many institutions depending on subject area. Therefore, gathering comprehensive spatial information on a particular region was extremely time-consuming and comparing data within different EU countries almost impossible as the data have never been harmonized. Hence the development of the INSPIRE initiative, source of EU directive, aimed at changing the situation. The main goal of the directive is to facilitate and accelerate data access and to increase the possibility of data exchange within the European Union, in order to generate interest in spatial data as a wider environmental management tool. Within the framework of INSPIRE, every EU country develops a geoportal enabling access to harmonized spatial data. In Poland it is geoportal.gov.pl. Spatial data infrastructure in Poland is a part of the EU infrastructure for spatial information specified by the INSPIRE directive. Spatial data infrastructure is aimed at providing common access to data on natural and anthropogenic objects, taking into account the needs of the national, regional and local development, information society development, European integration, public administration of all levels with particular consideration to scientific, technological and organizational development as well as the requirements of rational management of spatial information. Infrastructure for spatial information includes spatial data that is data that describe the objects, phenomena and processes of the environment, land development, data on environmental protection and economic development. Data are presented in two or three dimensional space, including the time scale. They enable analysis, monitoring, planning, designing and management with the use of appropriate types of information. Spatial data infrastructure includes Internet services, free at basic level, enabling the widespread use of the spatial information resources accumulated in Poland by all users in the areas of administration, business, including investment and marketing, social actions, education, tourism and recreation, environment protection. The Spatial Data Infrastructure Act triggers the improvement of public administration by the regulations of government cooperation on the infrastructure and state computerization as well as the development of electronic administration. In response to high expectations towards GeoPortal 2, we have developed a concept called GeoPortal Information System, which is based on three areas. It has allowed us to efficiently implement the project and achieve its ultimate success. The three main areas are Implementation of the project and other contracts related, we have developed uniform rules for the management of quality, configuration, risk and issues that were additionally supported by specialized tools. Architecture, because of the need to prepare a vast collection of highly sophisticated and complex services, tools and applications to download, search, view, convert, manage and analyze spatial data, it was necessary to develop and system architecture using the latest technologies and ensuring a safe and effective cooperation with the Inspire portal and other systems which attach to the GeoPortal 2. Maintenance to provide professional maintenance of GeoPortal 2 results, drawing from the best modern practice, we developed and implemented consistent processes and procedures supported by dedicated tools. The main objective of GeoPortal 2 project is to provide citizens, businesses and government with spatial information from official records, ensuring their quality, relevance and credibility.
GeoPortal provides services of searching, browsing and downloading spatial data. The services include online purchase of spatial data. The search service is based on metadata, which describe all datasets available in the system. Metadata provide information about datasets such as spatial extent, validity, coordinate system in which they were designed, restrictions on the use of datasets. One can also search for data using the data themes described by categories as well as by keywords. The view service allows presenting data from various sources in the GeoPortal map browser. The data are described by the metadata available at the search service. The user can use the service to view orthomotor maps, raster maps, geodetic control network, objects from the database or topographic objects and many other datasets available through the national spatial data infrastructure. The download service enables its users to download data onto their computers in accordance with their scope of authority. GeoPortal 2 was integrated with EPUAP, Electronic Platform of Public Administration Services, which made it possible to record and process requests related to surveying, mapping and data sharing made through the registry box of EPUAP. GeoPortal 2 was integrated with EPUAP, Electronic Platform of Public Administration Services, which made it possible to record and process requests related to surveying, mapping and data sharing made through the registry box of EPUAP. One of the overriding values for the head office of geodesy and cartography is to provide high-quality data. GeoPortal will use uniform mechanisms for reporting and handling errors for all data sets. Errors will also be reported by users of the services provided by the GeoPortal and then forwarded to the administrators responsible for data quality. The data quality is closely related to their availability to ensure high data availability to levels. Infrastructure and services are under close scrutiny. The infrastructure that supports GeoPortal and its eight systems, as well as all actions and activities performed by GeoPortal users and its eight systems are constantly monitored. The mission of the project is to develop an information society willing to use the Internet and network services in order to use services provided by the public administration. GeoPortal helps to improve the competitiveness of businesses by providing entrepreneurs with online services based on geospatial data and metadata. It also contributes to the development of entrepreneurship and increase of innovation and competitiveness of the market due to the access to geospatial data. The improvement of business decision-making processes relating to investments. The modernization of public administration through the use of modern information and communication technologies. The increase of knowledge and importance of spatial and cadastral information among entrepreneurs cost savings for companies using the surveying services, the enrichment of public spatial data related services offered on the market, the participation in creating the information society. GeoPortal is a tool used by all citizens as well as businesses, for example, notaries, lawyers, real estate agents, appraisers, surveyors, banks and credit agencies, and others. Institutions are private entities, for example, property owners or potential property buyers, potential domestic and foreign investors, organizations and institutions, public administration included. We guarantee the delivery of services at the level expected by the stakeholders, techniques based on the practices that allow effective management of GeoPortal's maintenance. Both the infrastructure and applications have been developed and implemented. 
One of the requirements met by GeoPortal is to ensure that interoperability in terms of both data and business. It is an essential element of geoinformation infrastructure, making a variety of systems work together without a constant human interface. Interoperability is closely related to the dispersal of systems and to the computer network that connects them, requiring the use of standards interfaces. Harmonization of standards in describing the metadata allows to create and add new data sets, which can be used by all sites concerned. And most importantly, it allows to keep up the consistency of spatial data from different databases. GeoPortal is to provide access to spatial data of high reliability, the highest possible relevance and precision in mapping the objects and phenomena in space. What does it all mean for us citizens? Imagine a situation. You want to build a new home. First, you need is to find the right parcel of land or launch procedures for obtaining building permission on that particular parcel. GeoPortal 2 will enable you not only to position the parcel by its number, but also to obtain some data on it without having to visit the local authorities. Information you acquire via GeoPortal will be useful when making the decision whether to purchase the property. In addition, a part of standard services provided by geodetic and cartographic service, now available only on site offices, can be ordered over the Internet. You can also make online payments for selected services. Another example of using GeoPortal is the ability to create independent tools that import data from GeoPortal. The Universal Map Module, operational support for emergency services, is the example of such a tool as it works on the basis of the reference and operational data of these services. The primary task of the SDI module is to collect spatial data and make them available within the national spatial data infrastructure. The use of spatial data services will allow the interoperability and standardized access to data. Additionally, the SDI module is intended to allow synchronization of spatial data between any nodes while the Universal Map module is aimed at data analysis through specialized application tools. The examples of the Universal Map module applications are as follows. The location of incidents, for example, accident victims. The location of emergency service vehicles. Management of outside users. Setting optimal routes for emergency service vehicles. Performing spatial analysis and reporting or events and their service. Prevention planning support. Integration of spatial data from different sources and many others. GeoPortal 2 will result in the improvement of the quality of spatial information contained in the records of reference and the efficiency of their use. Projects such as GeoPortal 2 contribute to improving the business conditions by increasing the availability of administrative information resources and public services in their digital form to citizens and businesses.